don't realize how high you're getting till it's too late. I am fucked up out here. <laughs> And your 420 break for Wednesday, September 28th, 2022. First up, uh, I don't go out of my way to, uh, I don't want to say bash. I'll definitely say criticize. Uh, I don't go out of my way to attack religion. Uh, and I don't think I'm doing so in this case, but sometimes you just can't fucking help yourself, man, because uh, didn't see that one coming. For some Christians, rapture anxiety can take a lifetime to heal. And it goes on, and the story starts with a 13-year-old girl who <laughs> recounted a story of uh, uh, going into her home. Nobody was there. There were clothes strewn about like in a pile. Nobody was gone. Everybody had vanished, and she was under the assumption uh, that they had been wrapped, that, that they had, that the rapture had happened, that they had ascended to heaven. She had been left behind. She's like, ah, oh, fuck. Now what? I got, I'm going to get tortured by the infidels, essentially. <laughs> uh, and it, it, this girl left the evangelical church. You know what I mean? And it's just like, took her fucking forever. If, uh, to get rid of those anxieties. You know what I mean? And it just goes on in the story to just describe the amount of fucking people uh, that, I mean, God, what's the fucking, how many evangelicals are there in the United States? It's not just the United States because who, who is that Ken fucking fuckface who uh, has the ark in what state? Ken Ham? No. Is that his name? He's Australian, so it's clearly not just, you know, <laughs> uh, relegated to the United States. But, uh, man, the the more people that just step away from it, it's going to drive so many more people out, but it's also creating, like, so many more fucking, what do you call those, extremists and conspiracy theorists? Like, uh... What leads me into the next one? <laughs> Want to do a bong hit? Ah, uh, goodbye. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? Oh, I don't know how my thing... Oh, there we go. Hey, you can see what it is. Conspiracy theorists. This is fucking awesome. Uh, these sneakers allegedly are evidence that uh, Reebok sneakers are satanic. A brand new sneaker <laughs> from Reebok, which, what's the name? It's something super fucking bougie, man. The shoe called the Reebok Classic Leather Decorit Decoritic Tabby Lau. Low? I, man, that's a super fancy name, man. Apparently inspired by a Decoritic, a deconstruction of the shoe's core structure, the cutaway leather panels create a modern cage-like form. Uh, they, they look like ninja shoes, you know what I mean? You know how the ninja suit shoes, there's like a split between like the big toe and the other four toes? Well, I think this is a split just like one more toe over. But uh, allegedly, <laughs> that's satanic and uh, mimics, how do you pronounce the, uh, the goat devil, Baphomet? Is that how you say that? Uh, allegedly, according to Prophecy News. <laughs> told it's more now a lot of these followers i feel like probably follow it just to troll but six hundred thirty-five thousand fucking followers man uh and some of the comments on this well the caption first of all the rulers of this world would sh world show more and more openly and clearly who they worship make sure to open your eyes and don't be caught up in their rituals uh man now you would think looking at that you're like, oh, it's just stylish. Most people, sane people, oh, it's just stylish, you know? I would even look at that and say, maybe it is modeled after a fucking goat. Goat's hooves splay outward to create more balance when they're walking on those fucking cliffs. Maybe that's what it's for. You know what I mean? But some of the comments... <laughs> and again, you never know who's trolling. You know what I mean? One Instagram comment, Instagram comment read satanic no way will i ever wear those another <laughs> this is so satanic my family will never buy another shoe from you man a third suggested for the people who have no clue why this is completely evil look up baphomet 
Christians, don't be fooled. And do not buy this shoe or any Reebok shoe from now on. Man. Again, I don't go out of my way to, like, attack religion. But those stories just smack you in the face, man. It's entertaining and funny. It's supposed to be. You know what I mean? Uh, but it's also is disturbing the right word probably oh. see that the goods 15 bucks ah uh, all right this now i think a lot you of people me, if you're buying movies digitally maybe this I'll is happening you, like tuesday and shit uh, <laughs> this is on twitter and it was just a collection of memes and topics about just digital media where first one marvel studios won't be releasing any physical copies of disney plus shows whatever that's a business decision but it's just because everything's going digital uh things like this happen the next one uh hello <laughs> it's it's a response to this guy's tweet Amazon deleted my Final Space digital purchases of Season 1 and 2. My video library has been wiped clean of Final Space content. WTF. And then Amazon uh, uh, responded with, Hello, you purchased titles may, became of, uh, may become unavailable due to licensing restrictions or for other limited reasons. But you don't get your fucking money back. I want to say like twice. Once for sure. Once I don't, I, I'm not sure if I bought it or not. But another for sure, and I know the fucking movie was the uh, movie uh, Richard Linklater flick, uh, um, uh, Everybody Wants Some. And I bought it on Vudu. And I'm fucking 100% sure I went back a couple weeks later to either A, watch it again, or to watch it for the first time. I can't remember. And it wasn't on there anymore. And I'm like, well, what the fuck, man? Uh, so I bought it again. <laughs> idiotically and i'm pretty sure that that happened again at some point a movie i thought i had bought turned out to not be on there well that didn't fucking stop me i bet i got fucking 250 movies on there now man you know i'm serious about my movie collections because i have a physical copies of a bunch of fucking like dvds and blu-rays and shit and i also saw a great tweet uh from uh i can't remember where that had to do with that very thing where it was like i bought all these fucking movies on like vhs <laughs> dvd and blu-ray now they're all fucking digital i probably spent fucking thousands of dollars and what's next probably next they're just implanting that shit in your fucking brain man you know just fucking upload voodoo like the matrix man the matrix movies that's next i'd fucking pay for that <laughs> Maybe not. Next. In the hall. All right. Uh, yes. Attention. I am a real time traveler. <laughs> Man, these fucking people. I'm serious. Uh,. TikTok. This is actually the first of two TikTok stories on this segment. Uh, there's, a, I guess there's there's a lot of these fucking people on TikTok. I'm not on there, but Tim Logan tells me, <laughs> and we talk about it all the time on our thread. Hey, we're on. I'm a, there's fucking mountains of like time travelers on TikTok, and I'm like, of course there are. This goes right along with like, you know conspiracy theorists the 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 reebok satanic shoes and shit like that and the rapture it's right along those lines right believe in like you can do so much digitally nowadays and they got all kinds of followers i'm sure <laughs> another tiktok thing uh i talked about this i know on the radio show I know I talked about this on the radio show at least a couple times. And that's people suntanning their assholes where they get down on their back and they spread eagle in their cheeks and they uh, tan the gooch. And I actually read a lot of stories about them burning the gooch. So this story, it just, uh, it can't be. People are still doing this because I bet this was two years ago. It was during the radio show when I was talking about it. But this tick, or excuse me, this vice story 
Why are people suntanning their assholes on TikTok? Perneum sunning claim to that claim that sunning your holes creates a surge of energy like having a cup of coffee. Why don't you just have a fucking cup of coffee? <laughs> Man, that takes a lot of privacy too. You know what I mean? Maybe I just have too many body shame issues. You know, if like you caught somebody tanning their asshole, it would never go away. Even if you didn't say anything and they knew you caught them, you would always look at them. Going out to your car, if it was a neighbor that saw you tanning your butthole. <sighs> Terrible. Hey, next. <laughs> hey, man. What are you doing? I'm so high. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can hurt me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Marijuana. Kills. All right. Uh, of course. Women make assumptions about men's personality traits and behaviors based on pictures of their penises. <laughs> now, I was kind of shocked that, uh, A, uh, because of course, but first of all, that they weren't necessarily talking about, you know, the audacity to send your dick pic. Because <laughs> first of all, that's exactly, uh, if you get a dick pic from any dude, I don't even care if you really ask him for it. You know, I know that happens every once in a while. I'll never send my dick ever, ever, ever. It's probably body shame issues. You know what I mean? Uh, but anytime you send a dick pic, you just should be ashamed of yourself for one. Two, you're totally getting judged. Uh, they're showing all their friends. You know, it's a, it's a bad move, you guys. But apparently uh, they're just talking about aesthetics in this case. Think again before you send a picture of your genitalia to a woman. A recent study shows that women make assumptions about men's personality traits and behaviors based on pictures, pictures of their dicks. <laughs> now, again, they're talking aesthetically in here, uh, which I'm sure, even though most women would be horrified to get a dick pic, and are, because they're mostly uninvited, uh, but then they probably study it. You know what I mean? They probably look at it, what the fuck is going on there <laughs> according to the study done by thomas r brooks and stephen risen girth length and the amount of pubic hair are criteria that women look to make assumptions about men's personalities studies show that wider and longer penises with trimmed pubic hair are associated with positive personality traits on the other hand neuroticism is associated with narrow and shorter penises <laughs> of course it is you don't fucking say. <laughs> it's the most Costanza shit ever. I was in the pool! That's your 420 break. Eat some Doritos, chill out, and get your ass back to work. Hey, oh man. I got the fucking munchies real bad. How about you? Hey, 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 hey. Smoke <laughs> weed every day. <laughs> hey, hey.